Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So the Nuremberg Toy Fair has, well I say it's, it's, it's begun, it's, it's now finished and with it we have a bunch of new previews for Warhammer Specialist Games. I know a lot of people are asking back at LVO, hey why didn't they show off any like Specialist Games? This is the reason why they were waiting for the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Nuremberg Toy Fair is more like um, for this type of reveal to be completely fair it's for those like board games and all that kind of stuff so i can understand why gw never included it in the lvo and this way it can get more attention um, in its own article and be previewed at event which is mainly designed for now of course in the background and the trailer we've just witnessed at the start of the video is of course the brand new aeronautica skies of fire and the taras air war this was something that to be rumored a couple of weeks ago actually I remember when i did the custody video about potential of a second codex this was one of the rumors that was surrounding that as well so it's nice that this has come out and it's all been confirmed i'm not saying that the custody book is is confirmed because of this it, you know that the rumor is still up in the air for that one but uh, the information that we have about this it says the second box set for aeronautica imperialis is preparing to, for takeoff and now we can actually show you the new models for the imperial navy including the astra militarum and the tau empire air cast and in the background as you've seen the tau stuff but if we switch over to some of the imperial stuff you can see some valkyries and actually some new fighters for the astra militarum aka the imperial guard very very cool i've always wanted to get into this game because i've heard x-wing was a really fun game and of course gw kind of wanted to take that kind of momentum and make their own of course because 40k is filled with amazing flyers but there's so many specialist games at the moment and of course me building my last war protocol i haven't really had a moment to really branch out and try anything different but as soon as i get a chance i definitely think i'm going to pick up aeronautica and jump into it paint some planes and pew pew in the air and purge the enemies of mankind now this what we're actually seeing in the background is a brand new box set of course and it actually says the sky of fire box will include everything you need to play and all the Imperial aircraft are including and can be combined with your existing Imperial Navy fleet. So if you've already, you know, started the Imperial Navy fleet, you can add these to it. If if you think the weaponry of the Tau Empire is deadly on the ground, just wait until you see the aircraft of the air cast. Here's a hint. Almost all of them pack railguns and missile pods with unlimited ammo. Damn you, Tau, and your fancy technology. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because faith in the Emperor... We'll make sure we win because the Emperor protects. We all should know this by now. The Emperor protects brothers. It also says alongside the Skies of Fire, there'll also be a brand new campaign book detailing the war to retake the world of Taros from the Tau Empire. It's all kind of folding into one now, isn't it? Of course, um, the Taros air book, and then you have the Greater Good where the Imperium is going to be going against the Tau, of course, with the Gene Sealer stuff. You could argue that this has been marketed perfectly let's say and the next thing they've shown off is of course necromunda another board game this time it is called house of chains it says house of chains is a huge update for goliath gangs including um, um house alliances unique scenarios theme terrain features and even slave or Og, uh, gangs will have some more news from the under high very very soon so it looks like we're going to have actually more previews to this i've got to say now if you just look at some of the pictures of the necromunda stuff they are probably some of my favorite 40k models it's you know it's not nothing too like out there and smooth like space marines or anything like that it basically looks like kit bashed human orcs like some of their stuff they had is uh, just like completely insane and of course with half goliath everyone with their bulging biceps looking absolutely fabulous as you would expect and yeah just all all the like the daca they bring with it absolutely fantastic house probably one of my favorite um houses i, I actually forgot the one that i really like as well which is the kind of like bretonian-esque knightly well i say knightly themed like peasantly themed and um, i think it's crowd cowdor or crowd or something like that i'm sorry I, my my necromunda is not really up there at the moment but hey this is looking very very cool Cool, and I'm sure if you're a Necromunda fan, um, this is going to be something for you. Also, the Necromunda stuff um, has just got on pre-order as well. You know, like all, well, I've, no, it's, I think it's actually out now. You know, with like all the new tiles and plastic tiles, so you can start making like, the, the, you know, your own basically Necromunda boards and you know all, all the things that go along with that. So if you haven't checked that out, um, uh, make sure you do because they have some fantastic things for you just to go insane and create awesome little levels. And lastly, we have 
Titanicus. Titanicus is another another board game I really want to get into. Again, when I when I have time to get into it, it's something I actually want to do. Uh, fun fact, me and a couple of friends are actually thinking um, of buying the Titanicus models, but actually not using it as the Titanicus board game, using the Titans as actual Horace Heresy, so we can have like massive Titan battles, but in a way where we, you know we don't have to spend thousands and thousands of pound on models just doing it that way. Yes, you could argue, well, just play Titanic as well, but I don't know why. I just think like actually doing it with like proper full on DACA stuff right from the Horace Heresy rulebook, which features all the Titans and stuff like that. I think that would be um, um, a lot, well, a lot cooler. Well, I, I, you know, it's but that's that's the way I see it. Anyway, anyway, let's go back to this bloody box set because there is a ton of stuff in there and um, it says included is everything you need to start playing a rule book dice accessories and um, um, a force of two reavers two warhounds uh the serratus knights it's simple to split the box with a friend hey there we go if you want you know if, if you and a friend want to go in on it and none of these models overlap with uh, the contents of the grandmaster edition okay that's pretty nice so existing players can uh, easily expand their mana pools while trying out additional knights and titans and it says speaking of new titans and we actually have um, the um, the Warbringer Nemesis Titan, or as I like to call it, the Biggest Dickus Titan, because it has that huge, massive, <laughs> penis-shaped gun right on its shoulders for absolutely obliterating your foe for a distance. So it says the Warbringer Nemesis Titan is, is a completely new class that punches way above its weight and with a truly massive uh, back-mounted quake cannon so large it distorts the proportions of the entire upper torso equipped by default with an arm mounted volcano cannon and laser blasters oh boy these secondary weapons are interchangeable and uh, with those of Riva titans for maximum versatility we'll let you in more detail soon so hopefully we'll get actually get more um, info on the box set soon so that's it's pretty nice it actually is looking really really incredible again titanicus and um, i've heard from a lot of people that it is a really really fun game but i, I just don't have time in my schedule to just go down that route as of yet i think we also get some new terrain as well because it says the manufacturer imperial box is packed with barrels cranes armored containers complete with interior details and doors that can be open and closed as well as assortment of pipelines generators and silos and it actually looks really nice you know if you you know of course if you're doing like theme base sorry not theme bases theme maps and stuff like that with with um you know with with your um uh, titans fighting on then this this is what you want you you actually want to create that environment of a city, of like a landscape that you actually think is real, just like we do with our bases and stuff, when we put like orc skulls on there, or you know, dead iron warriors, I know it's not really hard to come across a dead iron warrior, but you know, you get the gist. And lastly, we have a brand new book to go along with this, it says, if you're looking for a new campaign in which to try out all these new goodies, check out Adeptus Titanicus Shadow and iron this new supplement details the crusade of iron following the betrayal of calf silly silly ultramarines being too trusting this is why the imperial fists are better than you we trust no one only the glorious sons of dawn who never betray each other because dawn is life and the emperor is life so it says it, it says expanding on the background for various legions it contains rules for psi titans oh that sounds cool of the order sinister new night houses and manipoles narrative missions and campaigns taking place across entire subsectors or solar systems there's a lot more content packed into this book we'll take a deeper look closer to its release of course because this is just the 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 teaser preview from the event and um, in the coming weeks we should start getting articles dedicated towards all of this going into more detail showing off some of hopefully the stats and all that kind of stuff which come along with new models and on that note i think i'm gonna end the video there brothers and sisters so thank you for coming thank you for watching as always awesome little preview from the nuremberg toy fair and um, if you are an aeronautica player if you're a necromunda player if you're a titanic player what do you think of these little previews we've got um i'm really liking the aeronautica stuff i think that's the thing that really stands out for me um, um if, if if i had to pick between titanicus and aeronautica i think at this moment in time i would go with aeronautica but if my friends push me give me a little nudge in the right direction i think i actually may pick up some titanicus and start building those epic god engines of war as always leave your thoughts feedback in the comment section down below and we can have a nice little chat about it down there see you now and buh boy